Welcome to another Crafting with Roswell. Today I'll be showing you how to make a woven bookmark. In your kit, you receive a mini weaving loom. It's actually a piece of sturdy cardboard with little slits cut at the top and bottom, and a yarn needle. You'll also need a pencil or a pen, a ruler, scissors, tape, and yarn. I recommend two or three colors to give your project some variation. And today we're just gonna be going over a very basic stitch. Another suggested extra would be a plastic fork, but I also found that your plastic knitting needle will work fine for that step as well. So we'll just get into it. So this is reusable, and you're gonna find that sometimes you have to just use your fingers and kind of shimmy the little cardboard teeth at the top in order to be able to thread your yarn through. So we're going to create our base layer of yarn so we can then have that to weave through. So I'm just gonna make sure these are all separated and show you the next step. So here I have just basic regular yarn. We get donations of yarn all the time. I recommend just cutting off a small section when you're actually weaving. But this first step with tying it off onto your loom, we can leave it right on the whole skein. So I'm just gonna work in four from this side, four from that side, and just use six notches as the width of my bookmark. So I'm just pulling down, tucking in, wrapping up behind and back up through. So there's four, five and six. So on the back side, I have a tail from where we started. And I'm gonna give this a snip to create a tail where it ends. And that is the first step of our project. Next up is starting to weave. So again, I'm just gonna use this dark purple color and just pull off a couple feet, cut that free, and use my yarn needle as a nice wide eye opening, making it easy to thread through. I'm just gonna leave another little tail. There's no knotting or anything like that involved in this project. And we can just start weaving. So we're doing a very, very basic weave technique. You can look online and find others, but essentially we're just doing an over, under, over, under approach. So I'm going under my first string, over the second, under my third, over my fourth, under my fifth, over my sixth, and then pulling my needle through, and then pulling my thread, and again, leaving a tail out the side. Now we're gonna go back in the opposite direction. So since this ended being over top, we're gonna go under, over, under, over, under, over. Can pull the needle through and then just gently pull on your thread. So as you're pulling your yarn through, just kind of keep your pressure consistent. Otherwise you'll notice that you're pulling your strings and shrinking the center of your bookmark. If you do consistent pressure, then your bookmark will be a consistent size all the way throughout. I'll just go ahead and do one more row to show you. So end it over, so I'm gonna go under over, under, and I like to thread my needle through and then come back through pulling on the yarn. And then I just use my finger or use the needle to then help push those down to keep a nice tight weave going. And that's what we keep doing, back and forth. To add in another color, I'll show you. 
I have this one started. So I've done a section of dark purple, section of light purple, and this is where your pen, pencil, and ruler would come into play. If you're looking for your rows to be consistent in size, you could use your ruler to help mark that off besides counting your rows. Um, different sized yarns. So this purple is a little thicker than this purple. Um, using the ruler and marking measurements will help you have consistent sizings. So I've done the dark purple, I've done light purple, and I just want to show you really quick. So when I'm done using this color, I'm going to cut off my end, leave this little tail. I can go ahead and take my yarn and thread it through my needle once again. And I'm just going to do the opposite of how I ended. So this goes over. So I'm going to do under, over, under, over. And with each color change, you're just going to leave your tail. And I'll show you how to connect those tails in through the back to secure them in place. So I'm not going to finish the entire project, but I am going to do enough to then show you how to finish off your project. Just kind of keep those free, tuck down, and I'll come back through one more time. There we go. And just for sake of showing you all the steps, I'm going to end this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this tail and show you how to go about finishing your bookmark. So we're going to turn it over onto the back side. I'd use the tape to tape down these tails to help keep them out of the way. That's completely optional. Across the back, I'm actually going to put my scissor underneath and cut all of these strings in half. And then, since this is finished towards this edge, I'm just going to go ahead and pull off two of my strings and tie these together to secure the end of my bookmark. So do one knot. two knots. Pull off the next two. One knot, two knots. So for this one, I had an odd number, so what I'm going to do is tie these two together. And then use that string, tie these two together. And there are my ends. And if you want to join the spaces, you can just take one from each section and tie them off as well. So these different knots are just securing the end of our bookmark to keep our first row from unweaving. You can always take a comb to your yarn and play with it and shred it to fluff it to create kind of a fun fringe at the end. 
So now that those are all tied, I'm just going to come back over with my scissors and give them a little haircut. And while this is still attached to the loom, I'll show you how you can finish off these ends from switching colors. So all I'm going to do is take this first strand and use my knitting needle. So depending on the length of your tail, you may find it's easier to actually just push your needle underneath. So you're not going all the way through to the front. You're just going underneath one layer, threading in your yarn color, and then pulling your needle through to help tie off those ends so they're not hanging off the side anymore. So I'll do the same thing with this one. So I'm just going to take my needle, put it through a few of the dark strands, thread it, and pull it through. And you can do this with each tail. So you can go ahead and just pull this off and then start tying off your ends. You can also do a loop approach if your ends are long enough. Pull them up through and just do a quick double knot that way. And play with your knots because they'll get different looks the different ways that you tie them off. But you can use multiple colors. There's a whole bunch of design patterns online that you can look. Your loom is reusable, so you can go the full width and make more of a coaster type project, or you can just keep it as a bookmark template. Just push your knot down through. And voila, that's our back side, and that's our front side of our woven bookmark. Have fun, try it out. If you make any mistakes, it's very easy to go through, cut the yarn off, and start all over again. If you have any questions, definitely reach out to me here at the library, and we'll be back again next week with another project.